Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Edna and Harvey, The Breakout. Now, last time we left off, we just saw the results of me screwing over Mr. Frock and just pouring mustard all over him. Was it a mean thing to do? Oh, probably was. Where do I need to go now? Oh, I remember where I need to go now. You think I wouldn't remember as much as I do about this game, but this game gave me fits the first time through. So I, pre I basically made a point to remember exactly where I have to go. Pretty much whenever. Except after we, uh, well, I don't want to spoil, but there is a point where I don't remember what I'm, what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> and we'll get there, don't, don't you worry. It's probably not going to be for another few sessions, but, uh, oh, believe me, we'll get there. Where we need to go right now is actually back up to Dr. Marcel's office, and this is kind of counterintuitive as to why we need to go all the way back up there, but, uh, well, you'll see when we get there. It actually makes, it, all, it actually almost makes sense when you think about it. On the other hand, it doesn't really at all, but, uh, this game really encourages exploration, which I don't really do all that often. Now, what we want is that drawer right there. Closed. That makes me angry. Yeah, I only made a mistake. Apparently right-clicking is use, or maybe it's the one you use last. I don't know. But yeah, that's closed. And what, what, what about the knife here? I forget what the description was. You couldn't even behead a gummy bear with this. Okay, so obviously we're not going to use the knife for cutting. How about we use the knife for breaking and entering? Yeah! I can reach between the desk and the drawer with this! With any luck... There! Success! Ah, oh, what's in here? Now, what, what is in there? There's an old key in the drawer. I'll take that. I bet it's important. Dr. Marcel kept it hidden in a locked drawer after all. Well, we remember what that uh, bladder said. Dr. Marcel went to her room on the second, what's the second floor? I think it was the second floor. Maybe it's that door that was locked when we tried to get in there before. That's where we're going. You see, the game isn't really that bad. It's just trying to link them together. Link where you're supposed to go together. <laughs> sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it's more difficult. Of course, this is probably the more, one of the more difficult times for me because it didn't really give you much of a hint. But uh, maybe I'm doing things out of order. I don't really know. Let's see. Wow. That really worked. Yes. Now we can go and see what Dr. Marcel was really doing in here. Is it an evil base? What the? This is kind of creepy. Hmm. Does that thing's eyes move? Yes, it is. And again, we're kind of crazy, so I guess that shouldn't be a... That shouldn't be a surprise. I vaguely remember Alfred. He was an extremely obnoxious boob, I'll admit that. But to think that he's dead now? Huh. Oh. Edna? Edna? Hmm? Oh. The kid was a klutz. I know. Oh. He was a jerk. I... I know. I couldn't stand him. An idiot! A moron! A pimpled ulcer! A bag of pus! Dumb as a bag of nails! Cry baby! Butthead! Goof! Brain dead mother friggin' vomit munching horse fornicator! Edna! <laughs> I miss him. I know. Dr. Marcel will pay for this. You think? He's got something to do with this? Look around you. It's obvious that this guy is insane. I know the recollection of what happened back then must be buried somewhere in my brain. This is exactly why Dr. Marcel is trying to erase my memory. 
And to think he's got the nerve to accuse my father. We'll find the missing piece of the puzzle, Edna. I promise. Yeah, that was a pretty impressive line of insults there. I'll never understand Edna's thought process. I don't think anyone will ever understand Edna's thought process, except maybe Harvey. Well, let's look at some of, the, some of the other stuff in here. Alfred got this great bike from his father. Mine was from the junkyard. No, I've gotten over it. If ever I need an imprint of Dr. Marcel's knee, I know where I can get it now. Ooh, a kite. Alfred was very clumsy with this kite. That little putz was a clumsy oaf, period. I get the feeling you two don't really like the boy that much. That's a hell of a name right there. Look, that's Poozy. Harvey couldn't stand him. Poozy must kill Harvey. <coughs> Poozy must kill Harvey. Oh, yeah. Still his usual self, old Poozy. <laughs> oh, I wonder why he didn't like it. Hey, half of those are mine. Oh, by God, we're going to go pick it up. Oh, shucks. Safety glass. Edna. You can't seriously think. I'm going to let that, you know, defeat us. No, 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 no. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about giving memories a small dent? Nah. Oh, come on. Alfred's yo-yo. Alfred was pretty clumsy with it. He couldn't even perform a single trick. I've examined everything else in the room. Why not the car? Alfred always used to have the cooler toys. And he never let me play with them. Maybe that's because you always wanted to play smash em up. You think so? Anyway, yes, what we're supposed to look at is the homework notebook. I think. I, well, I guess I can look at the photos, too. Even as a toddler, Alfred was ugly. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's just all toddlers, but I'm apparently in the very minority of that. This is Alfred taking ballet lessons. Not only did he look ridiculous in his outfit, but he also moved with as much grace as a sack of potatoes. He was a few sandwiches shy of a picnic. Picnic only sh usually has two sandwiches. Are you saying he didn't have any sandwiches? Was he just potato salad at that point? Because that is a sad state of affairs. I hate potato salad. That's Alfred's homework. Alfred was a real nerd, and he never let me copy off him. What's this? Scribbled on the edge of the page. Mattis Conrad? That's my father's name. But it isn't his handwriting. Although somebody has made a great effort to copy it, obviously. Just a second. That's my handwriting. I don't get it. Why did I sign my father's name on the edge of Alfred's homework? Harvey, do you know anything about it? Oh yeah, I can remember that day very well. That was the day I taught you how to forge signatures. Ah, well, we're going to, we're going to the past again, folks. Can you remember this, Harvey? Yes, indeed I do. You and Alfred had a private lesson with Mr. Hornbush. The lesson was utterly boring. And while Alfred did his best to follow, I taught you how to forge signatures. Do you think we can go back there so I can learn it again? That should be no problem. Are you ready? I didn't say it, just to, just to be funny. Yeah, Temple morphed me to the past. As you wish. Hold on! Oh dear. I really do remember, I'm afraid. This is Mr. Hornbush's math class. He was very strict and he always picked on me. Doesn't he look like one of the aliens in Star Trek? I'm afraid that if I don't pay attention, he'll lock me in the cupboard again. This is a riddle you have to solve on your own. Good luck, Harvey. Lock you in the closet? Good lord. I thought my school was draconian. 
All right. Might as well gather as much as we can here. Uh, the map. Uh, might as well get him as well. Basically, these are just get as much crap as you possibly can. I think this one's a little different, but still. Okay, now which of these would be funniest? Math is god awful. Let's skedaddle. Shh. Later, Harvey. Right, that went about nowhere. What does that piece of paper say? Oh, it's a note from my father. He just forgot to put marmalade on my sandwich again. Is 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 that bad? Or is that is that good? Because I'm getting mixed signals with this in this game. They make jokes about marmalade, then she's Alright, you know what, never mind. Look at that idiot! <laughs> Mr. Hardbush! Edna is snickering again! Pull yourself together, Edna! You little snitch. Mr. Hornbush reminds me of the fish Mattis gave you for Easter. Shh. Later, Harvey. You flushed it down the toilet. <laughs> Mr. Hornbush! Edna is snickering again! Pull yourself together, Edna! What is it with you and snitching? You don't do that. You don't do that. Not, not if you want to have any kind of friends in school. Do you remember the skull? Shh. Later, Harvey. Oh, fine. Later, Harvey. Later. What in the hell? Oh, a circus. Oh, that's... I don't know if I ever picked any of these before. Let's see what Edna thinks about good old-fashioned ice cream. And a merry-go-round. Might as well see the fair as well as well. Screw the playground. We have more important things than the playground. Edna! 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 There's a new ice cream parlor! Do they have Blamon's ice? From the looks of it, they've got everything! Hmm. I'd die for an ice cream. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again, and I can't properly concentrate on my assignment! Edna Conrad, you keep interrupting the lesson. I'll give you an official warning. On the third warning, I'm putting you in the cupboard. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. Yeah, you know, not to be a jackass or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's Alfred yelling, yelling that, uh, you know, interrupting the lesson more than anything. But there we go, being all logical. Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a merry-go-round outside! I love merry-go-rounds. This lesson is beginning to be a real torture. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again. And I can't properly concentrate on my assignment! I have to ask you to behave, young lady. That is the second warning, Edna. Interrupt the lesson one more time, and I'll put you in the cupboard. I'm sorry, Mr. Hornbush. It'll never happen again. You know, as awful as it is to say... You know, I don't feel quite as bad about Alfred, uh... Dying if he was acting <laughs> this way. Good lord, I sound like a monster. Edna, Edna, Edna! There's a Ferris wheel outside! No, that's impossible. I saw it! That's not fair. Not fair, not fair, not fair. Mr. Hardbush! Mr. Hardbush! Edna's talking to herself again. And I can't properly concentrate on my assignment! Edna! That's it! Enough is enough! Into the cupboard! Come on, move it! But... No back talk now! There's something seriously wrong with, with the both of you, you realize this? Oh, sure, I'm sure somebody out there saying, It's all your fault anyway, you're the one that got her in trouble. Seriously, if someone was talking in my school, the worst you'd get is like a detention after school, not locked in the freaking closet. 
Uh, ooh, a letter. Can you reach the letter? Sure. Hmm, I can't make out anything. It's much too dark in here. You could pass the letter through the hole. Then I can read it for you. Good idea. This is incredible. The letter is from Dr. Marcel, addressed to Mr. Hornbush. The doctor is paying him money to hold you back in school. And he stresses that under no circumstances are you to be allowed to leave class early. Especially, and this one's underlined, when the weather is good. I can hardly believe it. Obviously, Dr. Marcel has been carrying out a personal vendetta against me for a long time. He'll pay for this. This all seems a bit illogical to me, but I've seen it written in black and white. We'll get to the bottom of this eventually. Oh, yes, we... Now, how the hell do I get out of this? That's, that's the real... Uh... I want to get... Oh, I was gonna say, I want to... Am I forced to be... Alright, well... That's really strange with the letter, isn't it? You said it, Harvey. Anything really else in here is just Edna in the in the hole. Looky, looky, Edna, I can see you. Guess that's great, but let's go on a treasure hunt. Wouldn't I have to get out of this cupboard first? Yeah, I'm working on that, Edna. I'm uh, I'm working on it. We should venture out into the world. For starters, I just want to get out of this cupboard. Yes, well... I kind of forgot how to do that, Edna. I thought this was... I thought this... I thought the main point of this tempo morph would have uh, occurred by now. Oh, well, that was uh, really anticlimactic. I had to click in the exact right spot. Alright, well... What now? Need to get her out of the out of the closet. So, how are we going to do that? Oh, I forgot you have to go this way and then. What's this piece of paper in your bag? It's not really. My father forgot to put out breakfast. Right. I'm just trying to figure out where that homework is that, uh, Harvey, when Harvey taught her how to forge. Maybe... Alf? No, I don't think Alfred would have it. I'm going to start loading up on different things around this room and just do what works. I don't know what the point of looking out here is. Why not try everything, right? What well, worst case scenario we just end up torturing in with all these things. Alfred is an old snitch. A snitching frog. <laughs> Maybe you should ask Mr. Hornbush to let you take part in the lesson again. I can't believe that you, of all people, would say that, Harvey. Why? We can wreak more havoc that way. That, of course, is true. Mr. Hornbush! Aha. Uh -huh. 